hello all welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be talking about how to set up gl cross validation rules in oracle fusion cloud so what are cross validation rules so using your cross validation rules you can set up rules in such a way that user will be forced to enter or use only the valid account code combination you can restrict the user from entering an invalid account code combination to give you an example so let me take uh, say this is my business requirement say my business requirement is always users should be entering a cost center 000 for all the balance sheet account for pnl account they can use any cost center but for balance sheet accounts uh, my requirement is user should not be using any cost center other than 000 now let us see how we can achieve this by setting up a cross validation rule i mean setting up a cross validation rule is very simple there are only two steps involved you know to create a cross validation rule and within the cross validation rule you need to assign something called condition filters and then assign the validation filters so let me show you my uh, chart of accounts so this is my chart of accounts reliance ledger is my uh, ledger and this is my chart of accounts company line of business account cost center product and intercompany and uh, these are all my national accounts so here you can see all my assets liabilities and owner's equity which are uh, part of your balance sheet uh, category are kind of grouped together and they are actually arranged in a specific uh, order so all my accounts uh, range from 000 to 39999 so now my requirement would be to use a cost center of 000 for uh, national accounts between the range 000 to 39999 so the first step for that would be to Go to your uh, setup and maintenance. And then go to your uh, global search and search for manage cross validation rule. That's where you actually set up your cross validation rules. So manage cross validation rules. Search for your uh, chart of account structure. So my chart of accounts is Reliance Ledger. That's the name of my chart of accounts. So click on search if there are any cross validation rules that will pop up here and as there are no cross validation rules it, nothing comes up here so i'm clicking on place to create a new cross validation rule so just uh, give any meaningful name so i just want to call it as uh, balance sheet to allow only cost center 000 so in the description i'll mention balance sheet accounts should use only cost center zero 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 and there are uh, two things condition filter and validation filter in the condition filter add field i just want to use the account as a condition because my requirement is user uh, for all the national accounts between the range 000 to 39999 user should be able to use a cost center of only 000 so account will be used under condition filter whereas your cost center will be used under validation filter in my current example so account equals there are a lot of uh, operands here so i'm using uh, between so my as my requirement is if the account falls between 000 and 39999 okay and then validation filter add field cost center equals to 000 so if you read this particular rule if my uh, national account falls between the range 000 to 3999 then my cost center should be equal to 000 okay and in the error message so just to give any meaningful error message which should be popping popping up on the screen when the user use any call center other than 00 so so it should be a meaningful uh, error message so i just want to call it as say you are not allowed to use call center other than 000 per balance sheet accounts okay enable this and then uh, 
effective from data to data uh, kind of uh, option. So I'm just leaving it blank. Click on uh, save. And rather you can click on save and close. Done. And now let's see how this cross validation rule work. <coughs> go to home. And then go to your uh, general accounting dashboard and then click on journals and then create journal and try to create a journal entry to see how this cross validation rule work. Remember this cross validation rule works across uh, all different rules, not just the GL rule. Uh, give any general category, maybe I'm going to use a general category of say adjustment. And company, I just want to use the first company, 1001, line of business at 10. And then account, any balance sheet account. So maybe drop down. Maybe I'll just want to use uh, this one. And then let me use a call center rather than 000. And let's see what is the error message which will come up on the screen. So click on OK. And as soon as you click on OK, a error message pops up. This combination is invalid. You are not allowed to use cost center other than 000 for the balance sheet account. So this is the error message which we have mentioned in the cross violation rules. And it will not allow us to proceed further until you change the cost center. Now let me change the cost center to 000 and click on OK. It will allow us to use the cost center. And another interesting thing is, uh, or another important thing is this cross validation rule work only for the new code combination. If the code combination is already created in the system and then you create your cross validation rule, the cross validation rule will not be invoked for the existing code combination. So let me show you an example. So let me get rid of this. Let me delete this and create a try in a new line. Okay. Okay, now there's a an account code combination with line of business one account the First one, yeah. And I've already used this uh, code combination with 112 cost center. So here, even though it's a balance sheet account, okay, I'm using cost center of 112 and click on okay. So this code combination already exists before I created uh, the current uh, cross validation rule. So when I click on okay, see, it allowed me to enter this account code combination, there is no error message which popped up because this code combination already existed in the system. And if you want to search for this code combination, you can go to your uh, task manage account code combination, and then it will show up all the code combination which are already available in the system. You can export it to Excel and you, you can double check. So this cross validation rule will not work on the code combination which are already created. So this is the same rule, uh, or this is the same uh, behavior even in EBS, okay? So in my next video, I'll show you how to create a cross validation rules uh, using a spreadsheet. So as of now, we have created a cross validation rules uh, manually using the UI. But in my next video, I'll show you how to create cross validation rules using a spreadsheet. Especially if you have multiple cross validation rules, then it's not practically possible to manually create them using UI. So you can use a spreadsheet through which you can create those cross validation. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. For interesting videos on Oracle Financials, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.